Hi Rafikis, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this series where I talk about everything relating to working as an international student. I hope you're enjoying it. If you have not checked out part one of this series, please do check it up here or here before you watch this video because that will provide uh, an understanding of what this whole series is about. To jump straight into the point, in this video I'm going to be talking about the things that you need in order to get a job in the UK as an international student and the things that you need to know. So first things first, if you're from Kenya or from any other country that's classified as tier four, you're going to then have a tier four student visa, which is basically a student visa and your biometric residence pass that allows you to be in this country and to study in this country. And with having a tier four visa, there are some certain restrictions that means that you are only allowed to work up to 20 hours maximum per week during term time. But then during the summer, you're allowed to work full time. This just simply means that during classes and during ongoing term, you can only work for up to 20 hours. And so you find that most people will only allow you to have one job. So I remember when I was getting the job that I currently just left yesterday, they told me that I could only work one job because that way they were able to regulate the number of hours I want. You want to ensure that you're sticking to the designated hours so that you don't avoid, so that you can avoid getting in trouble with, you know, what do we call them? I don't know. Why do you see me creation? Why, why do you see me creation? Want me back what did I do to them? What did I, what did I do to them? Like basically being deported. Like you have to remember the reason why you came, which is to study and not to work. So that's first of all, very important. Something that you have to remember and constantly remind yourself. Yeah. So you have to be wary of the number of hours you can work. Although during the holiday, you can work full time on many jobs that you want. Make your money over the holidays. And that's like, I know it's hard and even I didn't necessarily follow this in, um, all the time but if you can stay and work over the holidays stay and do that because that's when you can make the most money like Kenya isn't going anywhere it's not running away or whichever country you're from is not running away second thing that you need is a national insurance number basically this I guess is just your identification to uh, government okay let me not lie i'm a law student but i can i can try my way through this but basically you need an ni number that's just a number that i guess identifies you in the system um this takes up to six weeks for you to receive so you try and apply for that as soon as possible although about after two weeks they give you a number and then with this number as you still wait for now your official ni number as you it's like a i'd show you mine but that's i think sensitive information but yeah as you are waiting for the final ni number you're able to work um and just give your employer that number and let them know that you're still waiting for your official ni number so that's the second really important thing that you need to know. the third important thing that you need to have is a summertime cv i know yes most of us have cvs you know from high school when you just join but guys you really need to work on your cvs and what i found worked best for me was having two cvs so i had one cv that was for casual work you know summer times that had you know my all my all my six jobs basically but then i also have my professional cv and that's now you know what i used to apply for say university if i want to do my masters if i want to apply for a job if i want to apply for a legal internship that's the CV I use. And then now I have this CV because I mean, I'm not really going to start telling my employer how I used to babysit. Like there's not enough two pages to fill all that information in. And if you guys are interested, comment down below and I don't mind sharing my CV with you and sharing how I've worked on my CV, which is not perfect yet because I'm constantly still building on it, working on it and trying to make it the best version of itself. That makes sense the best version of it i want to basically represent myself in the best manner i can and i've also gotten support from people people have shared 
their CVs with me, some of my seniors who are already working, my parents, you know, I've had a lot of input and support as well. So I wouldn't mind passing on that knowledge and more you. So just comment down below if that's something you'd be interested in. You also would need a bank account because most legit places where you work will not pay you cash. If they're paying you cash, there's something there, there's something there, they probably are dodging tax or something. But yeah, most legit places will pay you through your bank account. So you need to set up a bank account and so that you can give them your account number, your sort code so that they can pay into your account on payday. Right, right, right. You need to have some ambition, some drive. I remember when I just got back to uni after doing my hectic summer job. This is why you have to watch the first video so that you can know what I'm talking about. And I was so eager to get a job. I printed out over 10 CVs and I took them to different places and I'd just keep going and I'd be like, are you hiring? Hi, are you hiring? Leave my CV in case you're hiring, I'll get a job. And that's how I managed to actually get the job that I had up until yesterday, that is. I just walked in and I was like, hi guys, are you hiring? And the guy was like, yeah. So you go walk in with confidence and you ask for the manager, say, hi, can I speak to your manager? Are you hiring? And give you a CV, they give you forms, you know, places like Topshop, H&M, they give you a form to take home, fill in. So you have to be aggressive. No one is going to come and give you a job. You have to go out and look for it. Same with internship and same with anything in life. You have to be very aggressive. And that's something that you need in order to get the job that you want. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video. I don't want to make this video too long. So, bye and see you in my next video.